Hi there, I hope you guys are doing well. I just wanted to take a couple minutes and show you a couple of things in your virtual office or your back office and kind of get you started on the right track. Maybe you haven't signed in yet or maybe you're just still a little bit fuzzy on where to find things, how to do an order, how to change your subscription order and all of that. So I just wanna take a couple minutes and show you this. So let me just share my screen with you. All right, so here is the home screen. So the best way to log in is honestly to go to plexusworldwide.com and it's best to use Google Chrome. That seems to be the best for everybody. Um, so when you go to Plexus Worldwide, this is gonna be the screen that pops up. So you're gonna to wanna to go to um, my husband's, I actually had signed in with my husband, but normally there's like a little person profile that, that's right here. So you click on that and you would click on sign in. So I'm just gonna sign him out really quick so I can show you. So that's what it's gonna look like. So you would click on sign in. Now for some people, it's working to sign in with their email and password. For other people, it works to sign in still with their old username and password. So for me, I sign in with my email and password. My husband, we have to sign in with his old username. I don't know why, even though it tells you to sign in with your email address. Um, for some people, it's just working this way. So for him, I sign in. And then this is going to be the screen that pops up whenever it does. I just wanted to take a minute to do this just so you know that it's, it's easy to navigate. Um, and so, okay, so now this is going to be the screen. It looks exactly like the one that you you um, signed in as the home screen, but now this is your account. So if you hover over the initials, now you can go to your account, you can look at your order history, you can look at your subscription, so your monthly subscription that you have set up, and then you can also sign out. So, and then your virtual office is just gonna kind of show you um, your PV for the month, your personal volume, so what you get paid commissions on. It's going to show you any of your team members and your points for the month, things like that. But what I want to focus on today is looking at your subscription. So if you click on subscription, it's going to show you what your current subscription is um, set up. So for my husband, he has five products in his subscription. It's a total of 106 PV or personal volume. Remember, anything over 100, we get paid commission on. So 100 to 499, we get 15% commission on. 500 plus, we get 25% commission on. So 106 PV, that comes out to $162. That means that it's including tax and shipping. And then his next order is set to run on January 1st. So if I just click view, and edit, it's gonna show me what products are actually in his subscription. So we'll come down here and it's showing me that he has you know, one bottle of ProBio 5, one Mega X, two chocolate 96, and then one vanilla 96. If you want, you can add products to the subscription or you should also be able to remove them. Now, the thing that I want you to know is that there's no save button. So it's not going to look like it's saving, but you would click one of these buttons and then go back up to back to my subscription, and that's going to show you the updated subscription. Um, also, if you want to just cancel the subscription out and possibly just start from scratch, you can just click cancel subscription and then again go back to my back to my subscription and it's not going to show you anything um, once you do that then you're able to add something else you can add a new a new subscription so that's kind of how you can edit things from your current subscription um, now let's say that you just want to do a one-time manual order you would go up here and click shop and then that is going to take you to the products page now you can choose any of the products that you want. Let's say I just wanna add a bag of Slim. So I would click on the bag of Slim if it comes up. Sometimes it's a little tricky. So it's gonna show you that I'm getting the ambassador price. Now, this is where you wanna see if it says deliver one time, that just means it's a one-time manual order. So that's what you want to do. That's where you would click 
You can also click subscribe if you want this to come monthly. Now, let's say you have your subscription already set up. You can either create another subscription or you can add it to one of the current subscriptions that you already have, which is awesome. So let's just say I wanted to do it as a manual order, so we'll just deliver it one time. So we add it to the cart. Now it looks like nothing happened, but if you come up here and look at your shopping cart, you'll see that you have one bag of Slim. And so then you would just hit check out. Now this is where you kind of have to walk through every step. So you would click continue, and then you have to click on one of the addresses, otherwise it's not gonna let you continue. So we'll just click on the main address. Ground is the shipping, it's really the only option you have, and then continue. And then, if you have any money in your Plexus wallet or what was used to be referred to as your pay portal, so my husband is $2.61, I can click on that and say that I wanna use that money towards this order. If I don't want to, I don't have to do anything with it. And then I would click, I, we use credit cards. If you have a PayPal account, you can also use your PayPal account to pay, but I would click credit card. I would click credit card and then whichever credit card I want to use and then continue. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to order a bag of Slim at the moment. But that is how easy it is to set up a manual order. If I don't want this, I can just go back to my cart and then just remove it if that's what I don't want. And so again, um, then you'd be able to go to your account and then click on your account, your order history and be able to see exactly what you have ordered um, for the last you know, however many months. So that is setting up a subscription, setting up a manual order, editing or canceling your subscription. Um, I hope this helps a little bit. And I just hope that if you have any questions that you come to me um, as soon as possible so that way we can help you out at any time. All right, hope you guys have a wonderful day.